The late 2000s saw the rise of countless amazing games. Titles such as Wii Sports, Grand Theft Auto, and Mario Kart forever transformed the gaming landscape. However, along with these games came a more competitive side. As the volume of games being released increased, so did the number of players trying to speedrun the Wii. Players would form communities dedicated to pushing each other to beat their favorite games faster and faster. Today, we will be discussing one such community. This is the history of Greyhound Tycoon. As of today, Greyhound Tycoon has garnered a reputation as one of the most challenging point and click games of all time. But it wasn't always so. Since its release on July 23rd, 2009, Greyhound Tycoon, or simply referred to as GT or Greyhound, has seen an evolution in player strategies. While the runs have drastically changed over time, one thing has remained the same. Reach the end screen as fast as humanly possible. Early runs consisted of players trying to level their dog up using the packing exploit. Players would purposely skip all races to ensure their dog would be stuck in the lowest division, all while duplicating stats onto their dog through the training system. This would result in absurd betting odds for the player, enabling them to eventually snowball in the late game. However, this was a very time-consuming process. Runners would be forced to send their dogs to the pen, day after day to get the funds they needed in order to successfully perform the exploit. Despite its faults, this strategy would remain the meta for years to come. Then, on May 24th, 2015, a runner by the name of Pig Plays unintentionally discovered a groundbreaking strategy that would forever change the Greyhound community. While testing out new running strategies, Pig Plays accidentally bet on the wrong dog and ended up bankrupting himself. This mistake allowed Pig Plays to reach the end screen faster than any player had ever done before. This revolutionary discovery would later be recognized as defaulting. A technique where players would take out loans and intentionally default on payments in an attempt to bankrupt themselves as quickly as possible. This meant that for the first time in history, GT could be completed within 14 in-game days. From then on out, defaulting would be the crux of every player's run. Over the course of the next two years, runners optimized the strategy and kept reducing record time until 2017, when runner ZDS managed to achieve an astounding one minute and eight second run. Through expert movement, thousands of hours of practice, and purposely lowering the resolution of his game to save time, ZDS managed to pull off one of the most sought after feats in gaming history. Ooh, that's a good run. That's a good run. Words that would go down in history. While many players tried, none were able to surpass this staggering run. Even ZDS himself was unable to come close to replicating his record. As years passed and the record stood, professional runners slowly started to abandon their attempts, moving on to more attainable endeavors. After all the ups, downs, and years of work put into this game, it seemed like it had finally reached its limit. Not only was this the first sub minute run, but it was under 50 seconds. While a run this fast was theorized, the thought of someone actually pulling it off was unbelievable. So that begs the question, who was this runner and how did he do it? By studying game code, the Yan Man learned where to leave his cursor for prompts, heavily reducing reaction time loss and misclicks. Additionally, he only ever took out the minimum loan. Up to this point in time, 
all runners took out the max loan. The Yan men figured out that regardless of loan size, failed payments would still result in bankruptcy. This attention to detail resulted in even more time safe. However, the time safe from his game knowledge alone would not be enough to achieve the sub minute run. The reason his run was able to reach sub 50 seconds was because of sounding. A glitch where mid race players would toggle the game sound with frame perfect precision in order to alter in game speed. This glitch would result in the current race and subsequent cutscenes finishing much quicker. Therefore, when done correctly, sounding can categorically affect a run. However, sounding is risky. It has less than 1 in 1000 success rate. Most runners avoided this maddening technique due to its complexity and large fail rate. Nevertheless, after 43,000 attempts, the Yan Man was the first player ever to successfully integrate sounding into a run, forever solidifying his place in Greyhound history. Greyhound challenges the traditional notion of success. It suggests that maybe the expected route isn't the right one. All too often we get caught up in our lives chasing the next rabbit, comparing ourselves to those ahead of us. We end up getting tunnel vision and we don't even realize that there is another path, another option until the race is already over. Greyhound teaches us that life isn't always about being first or about becoming rich or famous, but it's about defining our own success. Whether it's standing up for the underdog, picking up a new hobby, or bankrupting yourself in a video game, Greyhound shows us that there is another way. And with determination, grit, and a shred of hope, we might just find it. This has been a speedrunning history.